guys, it's Zinky and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's haul video of all the fun items that I found on our last Disney cruise on the Disney Wish. So super excited to show you all of the fun 25th anniversary things that I purchased. Just other random Disney cruise line items. I feel like the merchandise was a lot more well stocked during this cruise than our last one. So I did pick up I feel like a good amount of stuff but I was really excited with everything that we found. Also, we're in Walt Disney World for a couple of days, and I'll leave this whole playlist linked in the description down below for you as well, as well as our, uh, it's just like one big Disney Cruise Line playlist, so our last cruise uh, vlogs and everything will be down there for you as well. But we were in Walt Disney World for a couple of days, and we actually were there on May the 4th. So if you are a Star Wars fan, then you will know that is like a pretty big day in the Star Wars universe fandom just because it's like may the fourth be with you so yeah it's pretty funny i am not a huge star wars fan i am trying really hard to understand it all we watch like the new ones on disney plus but i was able to grab a fun couple of like star warsy items as well so let's jump right into it again thank you for watching today's video make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel lots of magical content from the theme parks and at home always headed your way from me also make sure we are friends over on instagram i would love to connect with you over there so let's get started these items i'm going to show you today are like clothing items i do have um one of the shirts that i purchased on sd and i'll leave this one linked in the description down below but my mom and i both got these shirts just to help celebrate that 25th anniversary and we did get a lot of questions and compliments on these this the 25th anniversary sailings we were on the second one for the wish and so it was very quick uh start from when we sailed so having these everyone was like oh my gosh like where did you find those already blah 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 it was great i love them they match these like arendelle aqua ears perfectly from the parks these ears aren't like the most comfy but it turned out for some pretty cute picks so i was happy with it and again i'll leave the link to their shop um, in the description down below so other shirts that i grabbed this one was actually from the parks i've had my eye on it for a while and i just finally went ahead and got it so this one it just says walt disney world and it is in this fun little color this is in a medium and I really enjoyed this color. My mom also got this one as well. Another one that I got um, from the parks, I just really loved this shirt and I almost bought it for Jackson during my last vacation that he did not join me on because it was a bachelorette party. I didn't get him for I didn't get it for him and then when we were there on May the 4th I'm like you know what I just need a Star Wars shirt so this one is like Star Warsy but it's not too Star Warsy so it just says the greetings from a galaxy far far away and then within each of the letters there's like little Star Wars icons I got this one in a medium as well I love the texture of this shirt it's super soft and so this one's like cute Star Wars-y, but it's not like, ooh, Star Wars, because I, I, I can't pretend that I know anything about Star Wars. I know nothing about Star Wars. Do I want to make a lightsaber one day? Absolutely, because that is just super cool, and I can make a purple one, so like, down for that. But this shirt will be really cute to wear to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is a park that I struggle with picking my outfits out for just because there's so many different options. There's like just like the Hollywood vibes of Hollywood Studios and then you have like the Tower of Terror and like Sunset Boulevard and then you go to like Toy Story Land and then you're like Galaxy's Edge and I just always I love dec I like decorating um dressing up like for tour story land but then i always feel like kind of awkward when i go then walk into galaxy's edge like dressed with the theme of tour story land so 
it always just like throws me for a loop i never know what to wear there but that shirt will be very cute to wear to hollywood studios all my next clothing items are going to be from the disney wish and i would really preface that if you are going on the disney wish make sure you go over to dory's forget me not shop this is where we found most of our like generic disney cruise line shirts and like generic disney wish in the main shop, Mickey's main sale, they did have obviously merchandise in there, but that's where you're gonna find like your spirit jerseys, um, your sweatshirts, some just like uh, 2023 Disney Cruise Line merchandise. So just know that make sure you head over to Dory's Forget Me Nots because they do have a lot of cute shirts over there, which we didn't do last time. So I kind of went a little bit overboard picking shirts out because they were just so cute. So this first one is a little bit wrinkled because I did already wear it and I didn't pull it out of the dryer quick enough. But it just says another day in paradise and then it has the cruise ship right there and it says sponsored by Disney Cruise Line. So this one is really cute and then just the Disney Cruise Line logo on the front. Um, I got a large in all of these, and it was pretty funny because we were there going through all of them, and the mediums just looked really small. I am, pro like, I'm a girly who loves like an oversized tee with some biker shorts, um, but I feel like I have a lot of oversized t-shirts, so I'm trying just to like not get all of them oversized. However, the mediums looked really small and I'm really glad I went with the largest because I accidentally drew, like put this in the dryer and it shrunk a good amount. But when we were trying to pick out our shirts, I was just like trying them on over my other shirt. And then there was other people looking at shirts and everybody was like, oh my gosh, we all need to just get a bigger size because the worst thing is, is when you get a new shirt and then you try it on and it's too small or you accidentally put it in the dryer and then it's too small. You can return items um, on the ship if you want to go back to your stay room. So no worries there. And we actually did do that with one of the sweatshirts that I purchased. But just know, Disney, like, Sometimes you're gonna need a size up, sometimes you can stay the same, it really just depends. This shirt is one I actually wanted during our first cruise this year, but they were all sold out. And I was so excited to see it when we went into Mickey's main sale. So this is a Disney Wish inspired shirt and it has the blueprint of the ship on the front. There is nothing on the back. I love this style of t-shirt again this is like a super soft one but I was over the moon excited when I saw that they had this back in stock so like I said at the beginning this cruise I feel like the merchandise was just a little bit better than last time and so I definitely picked up more clothing items because I didn't last our last cruise and again i'll leave like that merch haul link down below i only got like that pink and gold spirit jersey i didn't get any other t-shirts and i was kind of sad about that because spirit jersey is long sleeve and now it's getting warmer out and so i wanted just like a disney cruise line generic shirt and so i was really excited when i found all of these at dory's forget me nots so the next tee um that i got i also already wore and so <laughs> She's a little wrinkly, but she's so cute. Bit of like a paradise vibe with the cruise ship. And then on the bottom, it has the Disney Wish logo. And it says, never stop wishing. Because we're on the Disney Wish. And then nothing is on the back. And then the last t-shirt that I got was just a fun peach color shirt. Again, has that like paradise feel it says wish on it and then like within the letters you can see the cruise ship in the back and then my favorite part is Minnie and Mickey down there with their beach ball and their little cooler so this one is just adorable I love the fun colors of this shirt and then nothing on the back of this one as well but I saw this and couldn't pass it up I did pick up one spirit jersey I got the purple one last time and so I knew I wanted to get like the generic one this time around and it just says Disney wish on the back this is like the same design as the towel that we got during our last cruise and then on the front this one has the 
Disney Cruise Line logo and I love how the Mickey is sparkly, but the design of this one is just too stinking cute. I love all of the characters just hanging out. And then finally, I got a sweatshirt and this one says Disney Wish on the front. It is a hooded sweatshirt. On the inside, it has the Disney Cruise Line logo. It's a bit cropped, so this is the one that I went and tried on at our stateroom. I went ahead and went and sized up two sizes just because I didn't like, not a huge fan of the crop top, um, but it has a cute little detail on the ends. And the bottom but this one is super soft really cozy and I knew immediately that this one was coming home with your girl just have two more fun items and I've wanted one of these for a really long time and I actually got it in Disney Springs and it is the Tommy Bahama print um, Disney dress so on the bottom it is super cute and has like a little bit of a flare bottom and the print is adorable and I can leave this link down below because I believe it's on their website as well but I didn't know like sizing wise what I would need or if I liked the print if I liked the style of this dress if it would look good on my body type and it was so stinking cute. I got a medium in this one. They did have like a blue color as well, but I loved the white. The ladies there at the Disney Spring store were so helpful. My mom actually ended up getting a dress as well. She didn't get like a Disney inspired one, but it was like blue and white and super cool. Very like cruise line vibes. We both wore our dresses um, during the trip. So that was really fun. And then the other dress that I got was from Treasures Untold. I believe that is what the shop is called. And they were super nice actually. And they let me take this dress into the restroom to try on. I left my mom there as collateral because uh, I didn't want to like make them think I was going to like just run off with it but they were super nice super helpful they probably knew who I was because I made a couple of other purchases in there that I'll show you very soon but I loved this dress and the thing about Disney Cruise Line is you don't know if that item is going to be there the next time you come and so I kept going back and forth on it and my mom was like you know what like if you really love it you should just go ahead and get it because it might not be available next time we don't know when we're going to be on the, our next disney cruise we do have a cruise plan but it's not a disney cruise so make sure you are subscribed to the channel for it that fun coming later this year but i knew i could wear this anytime and so i went ahead and got this really cute Disney Cruise Line print dress. So it is a little bit of a v-neck, look at that long Disney tag, but I just could not get over how cute this print was. And honestly, if I found this dress at the beginning of the cruise, Jackson probably would have came home with a matching shirt and they even had a little dog bandana I am like kind of regretting not getting us a matching outfit But that's okay if they have it next time then it's meant to be But I just loved how it was like very generic Disney Cruise Line the print again is super cute uh, Just the overall style was really nice it's not like revealing or anything. It's very comfortable. So I was very excited to get this cute little Disney Cruise Line dress as well. Promise now that those are all of the clothing items that I grabbed. Now let's jump into the jewelry. So during our last cruise, I love Chris Lou jewelry. I wear the earrings every day. I have one of their necklaces on every, or two of their ne necklaces actually are Chris Loose. I have my like little three stack that I'm mostly always wearing and I really wanted a Disney Cruise Line necklace I, and they also had earrings and then they had a 25th anniversary um, one as well. So 25th anniversary merch 
honestly to me was a bit disappointing i loved the ears but since we were on the second cruise they pretty much sold out the first cruise and they had two left i think for ours and we just didn't make it down there in time but they also had a spirit jersey that was fine it was a really cute blue it was like this fun blue that the 25th anniversary is like themed around but it didn't have like 25th anniversary on it at all it just had the disney cruise line logo and then said disney cruise line on the back and then the other item that they had was the lounge fly so i really liked the style of the lounge fly i'll leave a picture of what it looks like up here for you but i just have like really loved using my sony clover backpacks in the parks i haven't been using my lounge fly bags in the parks a ton and or even like on the cruise so i don't know i didn't get it because honestly i felt like i didn't i was proud of myself that i didn't buy it now just to like i'm trying not to like buy things just to be like oh yeah i have that because am i gonna use it i don't know would i have regretted the purchase probably not it was a very cute backpack but we went ahead and we stayed strong and i didn't get the backpack we're not gonna talk about it anymore okay let's go into the jewelry so for the 25th anniversary i really wanted something that was a symbol of the 25th anniversary since we were on that sailing and i really wanted the earrings and it actually came with a bracelet as well so here are the earrings so it has that disney cruise line logo with the blue and then the bracelet has the same like style of pendant over here if it wants to turn around for me there we go and then on the end of the bracelet it has like the 25th anniversary i don't know if that's gonna focus for us it's the 25th anniversary logo on the end of the bracelet so got the earrings had to get the bracelet honestly i was happy about to find they had the 25th anniversary logo on there so i did i was able to get something with that 25th anniversary logo which i was happy about and then the two other chris lou items that i got was the necklace that i really wanted last time that they were sold out of here is the necklace that i was super excited to finally grab and this is in the rose gold so i originally purchased silver and then when we were waiting to go back in that store i noticed that they had a rose gold one and so i returned the silver got the rose gold and then i went ahead and got the matching earrings as well so on a disney cruise line you cannot use your annual pass holder discount but you can use your dvc or your disney visa um credit card and that will give you 10 percent off we're just gonna get into some fun like little items here and there that we got on our cruise so for the 25th anniversary they did have this really cute popcorn bucket and this is for all of the ships so it does say disney wish up here but they have all of the ships around the entire popcorn bucket and this one was kind of interesting because for the style that they were using for the 25th anniversary this has like nothing to do with any of that maybe because it's like a generic one for all of the ships but we had everything on here and then it says setting course for adventure on the front i'm not sure if all of the buckets like have the disney wish in the middle here or if like if you go on the wonder or the magic or the dream then that will change but for ours it was the main show was the disney wish well the next really fun item that i grabbed was this adorable mug and i i swear they did not have this during our last cruise or i definitely would have gotten it but it says disney wish and then it has captain minnie on one side and then captain minnie on the other and it is a pretty good size mug i hate small mugs honestly i don't know why disney i don't know why disney makes really small ones but 
I just loved the style of this and even my mom was like oh yeah you have got to get this because it was just so stinking cute Another fun random item is this Castaway Key Magnet. So I do have ones like this for Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And so I was really excited to find one for Castaway. I haven't found a t-shirt that I just love there. And so I got a magnet and a couple of pins or one pin from Castaway Key because I really wanted something um, from that island. So I went ahead and got this magnet. And I believe it was about $10. Time we go on a Disney trip. I always like to get a fun ornament. And this was no exception. So I grabbed this really cute one. And it has Captain Minnie and Mickey sailing the ship in front. And then it has the Disney Cruise Line logo up here. And then the Disney Wish down as well. So you can see the ship in the back and then... The ship is also in the back as well. So on the cruise line, when you purchase like one of these ornaments, they come like packaged really nicely, which is great. However, I would really love if they were able to do some type of personalization. Um, I probably will personalize it myself as best I can. It's definitely not the same like it is when you can get it in the parks. So on your cruise, you can um, like order a bulk thing of water and so my mom and I went ahead and did that and then because we did that we got this really cute cooler and so it is super big really nice I can expand it all the way so you can see how big it is but I really loved this style of cooler it has a nice strap says Disney Cruise Line up top there as well. I I'm always down for like a cute bag and so definitely made sure to grab one of those this time around. Something that was really exciting is we were one of the first cruises to get the new Castaway Club items and so your lanyard now it came with this little guy i went ahead and changed it out for our dvc member lanyard just because i liked that blue but this guy was just so stinking cute loved the style that they changed to i'll be interested to see when they transition to magic bands if they're going to be still giving out these lanyards or if they're going to like give out magic bands is your magic band going to be your castaway club color? I don't know. We shall see. But then the other cute bag now says it's time to cruise with Mickey and Minnie. And this is a this one is very similar to the Wish inaugural bag that they gave away. So this one every this is for the silver members. So Silver members get the lanyards in the bag. And then I believe gold members get the bag lanyards and then like a wet bag. And then platinum get the bag, the wet bag, the lanyards, and then a, a towel that's like huge. And then pearl, which is 25 sailings or more on Disney Cruise Line. I believe they get like Corsicle mugs maybe. I can't believe what like the pearl, I think they get Corsicle mugs. I believe that's correct. We jump into the pins and then one really, really cool item that we were given on the ship. I got the Ben There series for a Star Wars location. I don't know you guys, this one, Everybody was grabbing it and I was like, oh, we do have one that's from Batu," And so I was like, okay, cool. Like it's Star Wars. It's pretty cool. I think Jackson will like using this one um, for his coffee as well. But I just think these are such cool mugs and we use them all the time and they're like displayed in our kitchen. So I don't know what this means. Let me know down in the comments, but I grabbed this one on May the 4th. So now we're going to keep with the May the 4th theme, but jump into the pin. So this was the 2023 Star Wars day. May the 4th be with you. It was really cute. It was $18. 
and I loved the little guy up here and just like the gold down below. So in the Magic Kingdom pin shop in Frontierland, I was able to find some really fun pins and this one actually is for Tron and it does spin and on the back it just says 2023 and then on the front it says the grid goes live 2023 Tomorrowland Magic Kingdom and then this is a pass holder pin. So last time um, and the first time I rode Tron I didn't find any of these pass holder pins but when I the second time when we went and I checked that Frontierland pin shop this is where they had a lot of them. So always make sure to give that pin shop a check as well. And then while in that pin shop, I found this adorable Lizzie McGuire movie, um, 20 in 20th anniversary, I believe. Wow, that makes me feel super old. But I loved Lizzie McGuire, um, big Hilary Duff fan. And so I saw this and it is like sparkly such like a fun nostalgic pin to get and then this past earth day was the 25th anniversary of animal kingdom and i actually found this pin in the pin shop at disney springs so it just says animal kingdom 25th anniversary pass holder i didn't get any other merch for the 25th anniversary and so i was really excited when i saw this still available because that I love Animal Kingdom. Um, I love watching the shows on Disney Plus about Animal Kingdom. And so I was glad to finally, uh, or to find one that was still available. And then this individual Daisy Duck pin is an Eras um, themed. It's a limited edition and it is for the 100th anniversary. They did not have Donald, so I'm assuming that they're gonna come out with Donald at a later time but Daisy is really cute, it is very like retro vibes. And then up here it said first appearance in 1940. Did pick up one pin pack while we were in Disney and this one was for a fantasy, it's like fanny pack pack. So that, like, that just drew me in. I'm a fanny pack girly and so I knew I needed to try these pins and see if I liked them. I did already open these and I love them. So I got Dumbo and Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. I believe this is Bolt, but I loved it because I love a cute doggy. And then this is the Crocodile from Princess and the Frog. And then the last one was Simba from The Lion King. So I was super happy about the ones that were in my pack. I really was hoping for Judy Hobbs or Hey Hey, um, Stitch was even cute, but or um, Pico from uh, Pocahontas, I think I pronounced that wrong, but I really liked these and they were really cute. And finally, pins that I grabbed from the Disney Cruise Line. So this one was for the Aqua Mouse, and I actually did not go on the Aqua Mouse this time. We just got too busy. We went on it last time and it was super fun, but this one was really cute. I just love a Mickey and Minnie pin. They just Here's look so happy. Here's my Castaway Key pin that I got. This here is my Castaway Key pin that I got, so it just says welcome with the Castaway Key um, logo. And then Mickey and Pluto, I actually met Pluto on the island this trip, so that was fun. But I, again, I didn't love any other merch really here besides one of the dresses, but since I already got those two, I didn't really need to get a third, but this one, will forever live in my collection. And then my final two pins are very similar. So we have Captain Minnie, and then we have Captain Mickey. So I loved the style of these. I loved thinking about having these both next to each other on my pin board. Just thought they were super cute. Those are the fun pins that I grabbed. And then the last item, which was really exciting 
to see in our stateroom was for the 25th anniversary celebration sailing. We did the three nights, four days cruise, which Disney Cruise Line, if you're watching this video, which you probably aren't, make the cruise is longer for the Disney wish. Oh my goodness. Give me a seven night cruise. Let's go. Um, but they do have five days, four nights for the wish. We haven't done that one yet, but maybe, maybe one day we'll be able to do a longer Disney cruise. But anyways, back to focus back to what I was going to share with you. So for the 25th anniversary, your last night of your cruise is one that is celebrated. And then you will go to dinner. You will have a fun um, 25th anniversary show kind of. You'll get to take pictures with the characters in their 25th anniversary outfits. And then when you get back to your room, you're going to be presented for Castaway Club members Castaway Club members, you will receive this lovely print. So it is framed. This is plastic. It's not glass. So it's not like super heavy to take home. But how stinking cute is this painting? I, oh my gosh, I am just obsessed with it. It is the cutest little thing. You do receive a certificate of authenticity. So it is the 25th anniversary commemorative print. It says Bon Voyage for a silver anniversary at sea. This commemorative print shows Captain Mickey celebrating 25 years of Disney Cruise Line magic. It's a special Castaway Club gift created as a way of saying thank you for sailing with us yet again on another enchanting voyage. So this uh, print and painting was designed by Disney artist Joe Kamenowski. Probably pronounced that wrong. Affectionately creates magical Disney character artwork from his studio in Orlando, Florida. He's been creating treasured Disney masterpieces for years. His work is featured in Art of Disney galleries, Disney resort hotels, and he also is a proud member of the Disney Cruise Line Gallery of Artists. So it just verifies that it is like a legit print. I am really excited to hang this up in our home. I think I will leave it in the frame that it came in. I love a, a white frame, so works for me. But it was just something that was like extra special um, to receive at the end of our cruise. So Mickey just looking cute as always. Guys, that's gonna be it for today's video and my merch haul from our last Disney cruise. We had so much fun. My mom and I just had an incredible time. And again, I'll leave all of the vlogs from this past cruise linked down below. But Disney cruise, it's unlike anything other. I know I don't have a ton of experience. I have zero experience currently at the filming of this video with other cruise lines, but I just can't see anybody doing it any better. But we'll find out later this year. My mom to literally told me last night, she was like, I'm ready to go again. Like, when can we go again? It was just so fun, stress free. So, highly recommend going on any Disney cruise. If you do have any questions about Disney cruising, you can definitely shoot me a message over on Instagram or just fill out the form in my description down below. Leave any comments. Always happy to chat with you guys there. But I hope you have a magical rest of your day. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will see you real soon. Bye.